This nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom. A freedom. This nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom. This nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom. This nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom. This nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom. This nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom. This nation shall have a new birth of freedom. I went to the Warner Brothers lot in Burbank to meet Andy and Larry Wachowski, the writers and directors of a film entitled The Matrix. I was excited to speak with them. They had written something that I had never seen, but in a way, something that I'd always hoped for, you know, as an actor, as a fan of science fiction. The uh, script that they wrote uh, synthesized to me, I don't know, it, was, it had Gibson. I'm going to be a little inside baseball here, as they say. But it, I mean, it had Gibson, it had Verne, it had Kay Dick, Frank Miller, Anime, uh, Kurosawa, uh, Peckinpah. It was um, Nietzsche. It was Buddha. It was Christ. It was themes and levels, it was dualities, modalities, realities, dreams, uh, will, um, destiny, freedom, slavery, of the mind, of the body, uh, the construct, who lives, who dies, identity, sexuality, viruses, and love. It was mythology, philosophy, technology and truth. <laughs> what truth? America is falling in love with the burger. A uh, little Norton Commando. Yeah, English twin. Hang on, 19... sorry, did you just say, did you just say a Norton Commando? <laughs> Between your legs, because I can tell you at least one person sitting very close to you is imagining exactly that right now. I, I saw that picture of you <laughs> standing in the oh, rehearsal. Oh, that's my book. The jokes write themselves. <laughs> but it's a weird thing. I've had some good luck and some bad luck. Well, you're and alive. So, that's the good luck. <laughs> um, the bad luck is I've got a fake tooth. I've got a huge scar here. I've got a, I guess, a plate in my neck about this. But that's not all just the motorcycles. But yeah, that was the one where a car pulled out in front of me and, and I was kind of trying to decide. This was just after I had the plate in the neck and I was deciding as I was kind of about to hit the car. Because I started to veer, but then the car saw me and started to move and then he stopped and then I was just like, oh man, what am I gonna... So then I was trying to decide whether to drop the bike or to jump off the bike and go over the car. And then by the time I kind of figured that all out, um, I took the bumper off of his car, Ooh. and I ended up sitting on the ground, and then that bike was just lying over there, and then my tooth was cut in half, and I had blood in my mouth. And then the guy came over, and he was freaking out, but I was in shock, so I was like, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. But the thing about it is that I was getting, as I was sitting there, a my skin was open on my shin, oh. and bone white is very white. Yeah, yeah. It's like, so I kept touching it, and my friend was like, look how white that is, it's crazy. <laughs> and so then this woman who came up said, is it everything okay? And then she kind of was there, and the paramedics, and then she was like, is that Keanu Reeves? And he's like, what? Can I have your autograph? <laughs> I, I was like, huh?
gentlemen, we have perfected the code. How far are you willing to go? We'll do whatever you advise. What if there was a code in your mind that controlled your desires? What if it was implanted, branded there by the products that you use every day? What do you think the main contribution of robots to our world is going to be? I love being a robot. It's fun to be the center of attention. Uh -huh. People are really interested. But what I really want is respect. I've got plenty of time to an it, but I would rather it come sooner than later. I'm just waiting for the singularity like it says on your t-shirt. Yay, me too. <laughs> When will the singularity come, in, in your best estimation? Best singularity. Means infinite oh, spike okay. in intelligence that could result from technology including artificial intelligence. Kurzweil popularized the use of this term in his book titled The Age of Spiritual Machines. Good book, and a New York Times bestseller. If you haven't read it, you should. I recommend it. You want to tell them who made you? One needs, in effect, an individual equivalent of war in order to achieve the becoming of the free spirit. One needs an inert stupidity against which to measure one's own movement and intelligence. Okay, now go forth. Spread the gospel, my disciple. <laughs> Where the hell did you get that from? You I live in Hong Kong. <laughs> we need slaves. Real slaves. Controlled hospitals. Controlled energy grids. Connect them all together. And what do you have? Slavery. That's what I'm working on. That's what I'm working on. I'm an IEMer. I'm an IEMer. Let's build. Let's build. Let's build an enslaved planet.